Hello everyone. Um, since I had Vigor out here, I just did a video about setting this enclosure up. So look back a few and you'll find that if you're interested. And I wanted to show you how to hold your baby crested. I actually had to hold with one hand since I'll be holding the phone by myself. Uh, your little baby is probably going to be um, pretty active. The little ones are more active typically than the larger ones. So you want to hold your baby over something that they can jump onto without hurting themselves. So ideally you don't want to stand up. You want to sit down. I like a bathroom rug, the fluffy ones. That way you have something nice that you can jump onto. Um, these babies have been held a lot. This is Vigor. There's a mosquito. Vigor's used to being held at this age. I usually sit next to somewhere where there's a rock or um, even a, like this pillow. It doesn't matter. As long as there's something they can jump onto. You want to face your baby away from your face or your body because they'll just keep jumping on you. See if they jump on a on a pillow, then you can put your hand in front and try to encourage them to walk up into your hand. See? And you can hold them a little while, and when they want to jump down, they won't get hurt. They'll jump onto something soft. Don't hold your baby for too long. I would say, you know, five, 10 minutes. You can increase this time, but if he's constantly jumping off of your hand, just keep it a couple minutes and then put him away. Don't hold your gecko after twilight. That's when they're the most active. And they'll be very hyper. If they're gonna be stressed out or overly excited, that's when it'll be. During the day is a good time to hold them. They're just kind of sleepy still. If you ever notice their tail twitching a lot, like they're wagging their tail, that means they're very stressed out or overly excited and you should put them back in their enclosure. You don't want to ever grab your gecko around. You can cup them like this if you have to. Just cup them and let them walk back into your hand. But don't like grab their actual body. They don't like it. See how the more I do that, he gets overly excited? He doesn't want to feel like you're a predator. Just let him kind of do his own thing. Eventually, they will start staying on your hand longer and longer. This little baby is currently for sale in case you are looking for a new friend. This is a um, sub-adult crested gecko and this is a tangerine tiger. Currently, right now, Vigor is fired down so he's not as bright as normal. She or he was just sleeping. Step up in your hand, and they can jump back down. Step up. Make sure all animals are put away, cats, dogs, whatever. These guys are so quick that anim other animals, you know, think they might be a snack. Even if they want to play with them, it could hurt them really bad. If they jump on the floor, land on the floor, try not to freak out and grab them. They're not gonna run very fast. You just uh, don't wanna scare them to where they drop their tail. See? You'll get better accustomed to uh, their temperament. 
not all of them are going to be this calm. Some are very, very fast and they're always jumping and they never stop doing that. The more you handle them, the more they get wilder and wilder. Those guys, I would do it slow, just, you know, a couple times a week, get them out. Um, make sure it's in the daytime. Every gecko has a different personality. You just want to, you know, be um, happy with your gecko, no matter what personality they have, just like people. Just try not to scare them. I don't want you climbing on my arm yet. See, when they face you, that's when they're going to jump on your arm. Look. I think it's time that she'd like to go back home. Always make sure they're all the way in to their little house. Before you put the lid on, make sure they're all the way down there. A lot of times they will lose their tails and toes because you're trying to close the lid too fast. And they they're in there and then you go to close the lid and they run to the top again and you snap it on their little tail. So make sure that's all clear before you snap that down and always check your lid. If you have any questions, just feel free to comment below. Thanks a lot and visit my Facebook page.